Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Christine Louise on Paper. Thank you for coming by. This is a really exciting video for me because I finally got the nerve to swap out my Filofax Malden rings. I have wanted to do this for three months. I actually bought the kit, the Stationary Life kit, that gives you everything you need to do it. It got here, I stared at it for about three weeks. I've watched the videos on it for weeks. I can't even imagine how many times I've watched videos on it. And I just chickened out, mailed the ring kit back, uh, later reordered the Moterm two pair replacement ring kit that just comes with the two rings Held on to that for another few weeks, watched the videos a couple hundred more times, and finally, last night, I just reached the point where I said, you have not much to lose because my pages were so tight that I couldn't even enjoy using the planner. And it's because I like a fat planner. There's a lot of stuff I keep in it. I use one everyday carry. I have a pocket I use for fun, but the personal size is my workhorse. And it just, as much as I love the molding, I just couldn't have fun enjoying playing in it because I couldn't turn the pages. And you can imagine with this much stuff, how just how serious I am about not being able to turn the pages. So last night in my pajamas, I finally said, you've got nothing to lose. If you waste the $118, hey, lesson learned. And I did it, and I am so happy. Now, I have a little bit of overhang because all this stuff inside, it, with the exception of my calendar insert, everything else is wide. It's wider than the Filofax standard inserts. So after Christmas, when I make my January dashboards, everything will be flush. I won't have this overhang. It'll just be flush with the cover. That right there in the middle is my calendar insert. And it's not even at the flush uh, binder cover level. I'll, you know, I won't have any zero overhang when I make my new dashboards. And at Christmas, this is extra stuffed. It won't be quite this stuffed after Christmas. But I wanted to show you just how much ring room I have. I will link below the Moterm replacement rings. Um, I got the 30 millimeter and I'll just flip to the middle and show you, look, at the ring space. I mean, I haven't had a gap since I got them all, and obviously you all know how small the rings are. So this gap is amazing. And I turn and turn with total ease. Well, you know, almost total for as fat as my planner is. So since I'm doing this, video, I'll just do a quick flip of the decor. I'm not going to do um, a detailed flip through because I have many of them in my list of videos. I'll just show you my Christmas funnery. Um, if you see my videos before, you've seen all this, but there's no sense in me uploading the two minute video. So I'll just show you my Christmas decor. I moved stuff around anyway. So these are my today sheets. Um, in between at each day sheet, I keep a view of the next month or two. So when I'm doing my today sheets, I know where I'm at in the month. And that's where I keep that. I just printed this off at Walgreens on the app, photo app, and put a piece of Christmas paper behind it. And those are my today sheets. Um, as far as just decor, I've got some acetate that's really old. Um, dashboard I made. 
my Christmas bucket list of things I love to do at Christmas, my gift list, my Christmas card list, um, my Christmas movies list of movies that I haven't seen yet, and most of them are obscure and old. This is just more Christmas cuteness. I made a dashboard with my name and put washi. Um, here's the Christmas Lifetime Christmas Countdown movie schedule. That's on, I got that on Google Images, or just online Googling, and then I printed it on my Walgreens phone app. Here's the dashboard for my weekly section. And I'm not gonna go through all of it. Like I said, I'm just doing a quick flip of my cuteness. Here's my dashboard for my weekly that stays during the current week. After that is just my list section, and that's my thickest section. That, that's just got everything. And I mean, look how thick, that's everything. Next is my gratitude section. I just have a piece of vellum with some washi. The next section is my health. That's another thick one, um, a piece of vellum. And these are the only two trackers I use. I made these, it's a December mood tracker and my 2022 nutritional tracker. I just put a dot for every day I'm on track and I put an X for days when I'm cheating and I'm bad. Um, my whole health section has a lot of stuff in it. Next is my work section, and I can't flip through that because it's there's a lot of proprietary and personal information on employees and things like that. So that's my last section. And that's my last page lifter. So I'm just, I can't even describe what this space feels like. Uh, I, I won't suggest doing it unless you're willing to give up. Uh, I mean, there's you can mess it up so bad that you'd have to just eat the 120 bucks. Um, I will tell you what I did was, uh, I'm not gonna empty out the planner, but I, had, I took everything out. I opened the small rings, the two rivets, I took a screwdriver and just ran and ran and ran and ran. It didn't take long at all with pressure. Uh, the lip of the rivet popped up. Um, once that happens, you just lift the rings out. I was left with the leather spine. Once I lifted the rings off, you have a post here and a post here. I slit, and this was the part that I knew was gonna scare the bejesus out of me. I took an X-Acto knife and I slit from post to post, pulled out the metal spine, so I was left with hole, slit, hole. I took my Moterm rivets and stood them up in the hole. The hole. Then I took leather glue and ran it uh, generously inside that slit. Then I held the slits together, especially at the post because that's where the pressure would pull the most. Um, I held the seam together I used a leather glue that I will link below. It guarantees that it dries in three minutes, and it literally did. And it was it was really uh, it was a leather and fabric glue. It dried quick, and it said you can even wash it in 15 minutes, which obviously I didn't care about. But it did dry as promised in three minutes. Once it dried, I should have probably let it set overnight, but I didn't. I put my stuff in it immediately because hey. That's how I roll. I have zero patience. Put my stuff in it and couldn't believe it. Could not believe that I finally did it. And like I said, I wouldn't suggest it. You just have to be willing to, if you ruin their planner, hey, uh, you know, I just couldn't use it the way I wanted to anyway. So, but the relief of when it was done and how happy I am now that I can open all my pages easily there's just no words. Because everybody loves the Malden cover. But if you're a flat, a fat planner girl, you, you really know the struggle with how tiny their rings are. So, I'm going to wrap up this video. If you have any questions, please put them below and I'll be happy to answer. If I was really high tech, I could have filmed the whole thing and edited it. 
but I'm a low tech slash no tech girl. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.